Hello, this is Harker Dabin, and today we are going to be reading about the level help. Because, oh my goodness, do I freaking need it. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. Notice, the following document is solely based off a single source of information. That being a corrupted file discovered in a backup drive of the MEG database. It was successfully restored and whatever viable information that could have been gleaned from it is presented herein. Additionally, the purpose of posterity, the unabridged contents of the discovered file are attached at the bottom. The identity of the file's original author has been determined authentic, as has its disappearance. Therefore, there are strong reasons to consider this account to be genuine. Survival difficulty, class undetermined, mysterious properties, unknown information, undocumented entities. Level Help, so named based on the file name of this document, is an unconfirmed but highly probable location which may be partially separate from the rest of the backrooms. It may function as a type of prison where being is banished there by a certain entity. Description Based on the source file's description, the location is an expansive pocket dimension. Most of it is a relatively empty void populated by sporadic energy storms. Absent of any content except for its centerpiece, an undetermined point in the realm resides a clockwise turning structure in which beings are held prisoner. It is a collection of cubicle holding cells to be organized in the shape of a downward pointing cone, which each with each semicircular row of cells consists of a gradually smaller amount of as it approaches the tip. A glowing, pulsing orb of unknown properties resides in the center of the structure's endpoint. These cells themselves consist of stone walls with wrought iron bars, and the dimensions of each individual cell are perfectly tailored to the maximum reach distance of its occupant. Entrances and Exits A source file indicates that this realm can only be accessed if one is banished by a certain entity. The entity must be provoked to a certain degree, prompting to retire by opening a dimensional rift with a key and sending the instigator or through it. Exits. No exit could be determined from the, from the data. Let's view the attached file. Wow, that was a lot of swearing. Frick, 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 crap, crap, crap. I made the worst freaking mistake of my life by taking this mission. I should have listened to my gut. Now I'm gonna die. Holy crap. I need to calm down. Tell me how a fuck I won't save me. I need to remember my trading. Oops. <laughs> I am Jacob Howard of Team Michael, the Meg's Quick Match Regiment, and I am currently stranded in an environment which, to my knowledge, has not yet been documented in the database. Screw it, this taking too long to form my words. I just gotta type. I barely have enough Wi-Fi signal to and battery lag. I have to upload this file to the database as it is. For anyone reading this, I'm sorry in advance for the lack of formality, but I'm worried about more important things at the moment. I don't know where I am, but I know how I got here. I was on patrol in level 105, searching for lost wanderers in need of rescue. Came across this entity, shadowy guy in a cloak with a large ring of keys. I saw him approaching a wanderer and I rightfully assumed the worst, so I drew my weapon. Suddenly, he fucking came out of nowhere with this golden key that he pulls off his ring. He literally ripped open a hole in the air with it. I can't explain it better. He just opened a hole in the air and he shoved me into it. Now I'm here. I'm in some kind of holding cell where I'm definitely being held prisoner for all intents and purposes. No idea why I'm not dead, but not that I'm complaining. The cell looks like the kind in a medieval dungeon. Heavy wrought iron barred doors, surrounded by stone on all other sides. Its dimensions are perfectly fitted to the size of my body. 
where there being exactly enough room to stand up and reach out my arms and legs to the longest length. Damn, I read that wrong. There are a lot of other cells around me, a metric fuckton to be exact, without exaggeration. They are all designed the same, but the dimensions are also perfectly fit to the size of all the other prisoners, and hold them just as securely. I see a lot of other beings in other cells, most of them are entities. Directly across from me is a spiraler. To the right of me is a party goer. To the left of me is a student skiller. And there's a bunch of other entities that I, don't, I recognize but didn't study enough to remember their names. I also see some human ish prisoners too. I see some Soviet general looking guy, a person in a theater mask, and a paramilitary dude covered in weird blue symbols. Someone ranting about Sin and Argos. Holy shit, I think I see other mega operatives as well. Looks like I wasn't the first to have been sent here. I tried calling out to them, but they either don't hear me or are ignoring me. My god, there's no bottom or ceiling or walls here. I'm floating in an endless freaking void. The cages aren't held by anything. They're just suspended in midair. We seem loosely organized in an upside down cone shape. The rows of cells are lined up circularly, with there are being progressively less cells in each each lower row. The whole structure is slowly rotating clockwise. I see some kind of orb far or below in the center, light glowing and pulsating like a heartbeat. It's very captivating. I'm having difficulty looking away. Shit, he's here, the cloak guy. He popped in out of nowhere. I have to finish this quickly. I have no clue how to get it out of here yet. I'm assuming those rings on this keys on his ring cut. Fuck! He looked, looked at me just now. Stared right into my fucking soul with those eyes. He definitely saw me. Shit, I think he's approaching my cell. I can hear keys jingling. I don't have much time. Meg, if you're reading this, you better fucking and come and rescue me ASAP. If this is the last time anyone hears from me, I just want to say that I did what I thought was right. I that that is how I'll go out if it comes to that. The file ends here. Up to present, Jacob Howard has not been found, nor has the location he supposedly became trapped within been identified. Cross referencing any of the records in the database provides a strong indication of the Unidentified entity, possibly being into the X. Oh, the key master. Ah, oh, I kind of screwed that up by accident. My bad. Oh, I should have to open a new a tab for that one. Since it was mentioned, I guess we should probably maybe at another time. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't have the energy to read all that. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. But let's hope it's not getting into a prison like that. Until then, goodbye!